It's almost like you're in a bubble. The noise all goes away and time slows way down. You know, you don't think about what could happen. If you start thinking about what could happen, you'll slow down. When I was growing up, I would get a favorite race driver. He might be killed two weeks later. So I get another favorite race driver. He got killed two or three weeks later. One out of seven drivers was killed every year. Welcome back to Good Morning San Diego. Did that trailer not want to make that movie right now? Well, we've got the movie producer here. This is Michael Miles. Good morning, Michael. Good morning. Dave Stahl is here. Dave, you were saying that you just wanted that. This movie makes you want to just oh, jump absolutely. on and drive. Absolutely. Well, Michael was smart enough to capture an industry topic that's really, really very important to the general public and how it's advanced. So, Michael, tell us a little bit. Yes. How did you get into the movie? What made you do it? Yeah, basically, I was the patient of one of the doctors who we feature in the film, Dr. Terry Trammell, when I was a kid. And he's one of the main doctors who, from the 70s, 80s, basically um, advanced motorsport safety to the point where, um, <clears throat> Basically, they went from one in seven drivers dying every year in motorsports to now fatalities are basically non-existent. Um, very rare. And uh, essentially, um, I guess at the end of the day, uh, motorsport safety has informed car building and car mm -hmm. safety to such an extent that uh, we all have basically uh, benefited from you know, what they did at the racetrack. Yeah, and that's what this movie is about. And we got to talk about the vehicle that's here. What do you call this thing? <laughs> well, this is a 1980 Porsche IndyCar, and oh this would have raced at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Uh, back in the day, this was um, all aluminum uh, and carbon, or um, aluminum and... Uh, Probably not carbon fiber. Not carbon fiber, yeah, it's a... Uh, uh, composites. Composites, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Nowadays, it is all carbon fiber, so it's much stronger and much safer for the drivers, but they were learning on the fly, so... You know, you're crashing these cars at 215, 20 miles an hour into a concrete wall at 120 Gs. The chance of injury was very high. Okay, wow. So that means that come September 6th, this movie's going to be out there. Right. And the message here for those who watch the film, what do you want people to take away from it? Well, basically, you know, when people apply science and uh, start working on it and applying the scientific method, we can accomplish a lot. And the racetrack isn't just fun and it's not people being careless. It is uh, teams of people who are going out and essentially they have brought all of the technology that they learned there and the scientific method that they applied. It's in our cars. It's NASA has taken their research and applied it to space shuttles and spaceships. Yeah. I mean, it's advanced everything from emergency medicine to car building, safety in all forms of fashion and emergency medicine on the streets. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it, is, it really is. And, and a lot of people don't realize. Uh, and by the way, if anybody knows Danny and Gaius, he was the driver of this car back yeah, back right. in the day. Mm -hmm. So you also wrote a book, or you didn't write the book. But. Yeah, it was the, one of the doctors, Dr. Steve Olvey. Okay, cool. So there is a book available. Check it out. But when the movie comes out, it'll be September 6th. September 6th, mm -hmm. Rapid Response will be in theaters in the U.S., Canada, and the U.K. All Thank right, you so cool. much. Thank Michael. You.